Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon where I continue to work on a mission to the moon, a crewed mission to the moon. That is my primary goal, the crewed moon landing, but we have a lot to take care of first. We need to upgrade our base, we need a large launch pad and a VAB, so we're currently researching that sort of thing. That's the VAB first and then the large launch pad. I hope there aren't any other requirements, uh, but yeah. That's still got to take quite a while, so we need to do other things in the meantime. And we have some requests. Uh, let me see, how many slots do we have open for missions? We have one mission slot open. We're working on this heat shield analysis thing. That's going to be a few months. Let's see if we can get something done in the meantime. Orbital radio, experimental payload. Minus one turn for each task, so that's the challenging part. Solar observatory. Well, seems sort of... Somewhat appropriate, not exactly. Um, there are these milestone missions. There is the commercial satellite if we re really want money. I think we should probably do that first. Um, I don't know how big this commercial satellite is. Let's see. Okay, so there's a commsat. It's 3.6 tons. 75% reliability. It's fairly expensive, so we can't really pay for it right now. So, the thing that gets us money, we can't do yet. <laughs> so, maybe we'll uh, work on science, because that'll speed up how quickly we can build the VAB and the launch pad, right? So, we'll do this science. That's the best science. There's this rendezvous attempt, but that's the experimental fuel, which hurts the launch reliability. It always makes me unhappy. So, okay. Let's plan this one. It's just a small satellite, 1.5 tons. Okay, and it's not that expensive, so we'll build that. Okay, we've got the VAB done, apparently, already. Okay, that was quicker than I expected. Oh, maybe it takes these number of months to actually construct it. Shoot. Um, in which case, we didn't need the extra science. Okay, vehicle design. Increased vehicle, oh, is it decreased vehicle build cost? So that should be good. Yeah, but decreased launch reliability. So 1.5 tons. Well, um, we could just moo it. Just go full moo, but that's only 49% launch reliability. Moo delta seems like it's going too far, though. I don't want to spend too much money on this. Uh, I'll take a shot. We'll see. Maho. Magic. Maho is magic. And we have the ability to construct our VAB somewhere. Build. Vehicle assembly building. Build. Um, that's huge though. I suppose it should lead to the launch pad, right? Hmm. It's complicated. And clearing those obstructions will cost a lot of money, so... Okay, that... Doesn't have many obstructions, so that's okay. Maybe we can put the launch pad over here? I don't know. Uh, there's all sorts of bonuses that I'm sort of neglecting, but we don't have a whole lot of space around here. So there's a possibility to put the pad over here. We've already got one pad over here, the medium one. We'll see. The large one might take a lot of space, though. Completed orbital EVA. What is this Soviet mission doing anyway? That seems to be going somewhere else. Payload optimization. Your engineers have managed to optimize a key component of the Apollo payload for your upcoming crewed moon landing mission. Increasing payload reliability by 5%. Well, thank goodness. In addition, they've identified a way to increase it by a further 10%. By a further 10%. So not two 10% temp, uh, more. So uh, requires extra funding well i think that is a payload we would like to optimize so pay for further optimization so there's the heat shield analysis vehicle tanuki means raccoon launch reliability is also dubious we have to assign an astronaut we want something that can improve launch reliability i think or wait was it uh which reliability was Launch reliability is only 52%, vehicle 70. 
So okay, this test pilot can increase the launch reliability by a little bit. I'll go with that. Oh, it didn't accept that. Doop. Assign. Okay, confirm. I don't even want to do a crewed mission with a heat shield analysis. I mean, there's no point to that. But anyway. Launch reliability training. Yes, please. Um, you might want to wait a little bit to improve the launch reliability training. We'll give ourselves two shots and we'll aim for February. Okay, Solar Observatory on a Moo rocket. Mission training bonus is reduced, so I guess we might as well get going. Launch reliability, please. We'll set that for February as well. Okay, there's the crude heat shield analysis mission. Oh, stop confusing me. The solar observatory mission. Um, all right. Am I launching the heat shield analysis one or the solar observatory first? <laughs> I swear. Okay, this is the solar observatory. Okay, good conditions. Well, that's good. Continue. That hopefully means good conditions for the other one too. Okay, go. You're like a solid booster, you should have ignited immediately. <laughs> there shouldn't have been that much of a delay, darn it. Okay, well, launch was good. Secure launch. And so we boosted our booster and our upper stage by a little bit. Okay, now we have to do the mini game. Achieve Earth Orbit. Okay, we need a lot of comms. Lots and lots of comms. So let's get some comms. We'll get some data. And we can parlay the data into nav... Uh, no, we can parlay comms. Uh, I actually don't want to... Anything we can do with... Uh, we can use the data to get more comms and more nav. So that's okay. I think that's probably the most efficient thing. Okay, we got that. Except we got that, which is important because the next step doesn't work without it. And we got that one too. So we can get a whole lot more comms, which we need. Let's uh, do that, get more data for now, and let's get some more charge. I haven't done the math to see whether I can actually get the bonuses though, so... Okay, so far so good. Last turn, see now, we need two of these and one of those. That's really in red, but I mean, uh, if, if we want to get this, we need one of these three of those. So I don't think it's gonna work out. Let's see. Yeah, unless we can get three of these uh, simul- uh, We've got one more thing. We'll have- to, we only have one charge though. Let's see, so everything will have to work out precisely or we'll be in trouble. Well, we'll Go for it, we'll shoot for the bonus reward, but we don't have any ability to resist, and we've been lucky so far on the rolls, if you will. Okay. Alright, that one worked. That was, uh, not critical. Alright, that one worked. That was also not critical. Oh, that, that was critical, okay, good. And that one failed. And we don't have any ability to resist. So we don't get the bonus, but at least we fulfilled the mission. Okay. Oh, wait. It gave me that point. Was it nice? Oh, I guess uh, it didn't fail badly enough. Okay. Alright, I'll take it. Okay, we've got active mission... Oh yes, we are ready to launch the heat shield analysis. Okay, let's do that. Oh, 
Okay, adequate conditions only. Well, I'll take adequate. I'm sort of miss missing the little portrait of the astronaut here that I'm used to from Kerbal. That one got off the ground faster than the solid ones. <laughs> okay, that was a secure launch. We have... I mean, it's a Delta rocket, so it's good, but we are carrying that experimental payload that hurt the reliability, so... Okay, we have to achieve orbit. Okay, well, we've got four turns. The astronaut can help out. Uh, let's make the astronaut get some of that stuff while we can. And then we can get uh, lots of signal. Oh, the astronaut failed. Stupid astronaut. <laughs> All right, we'll resist. Shoot. Okay, signal return test is fine. And data transmission is fine. Okay, so... We just need a whole lot more of the navigation stuff. We've got one data thingy. I want more, a little bit more power. Can't do that twice, apparently. We need 10 to get the bonus for the nav. We all have our... Let's not try once again. That'll secure everything if we get all right. Overall realignment is okay. Uh, what happened? What happened? No! It was only 1%. I didn't even notice the thing moving. It was so bad. Our astronaut is horrible. Okay, two turns remaining. Okay, we need more signal stuff. It's interesting. We can spend one comm to get one of those and one of those, and then spend one of those and one of those to get four comm. So, well, shoot. Um, seems a little bit weird, but... And then we're gonna try and nail that. And hopefully our astronaut has stopped, decided to stop failing now. Okay, flyover course adjustment is good. That's a data transmission, not the astronaut's fault. Forget if the astronaut needs um, one... No, it does not need power, so we'll just use the power for this one. Finally! Finally! Some sign of competency from our astronaut. Okay. We can spend one of those. We need more comms, so... That'll do the trick. And we'll get one power to resist just in case. Okay. Ah, stupid astronaut. We need better astronaut training. Okay. All right, at least this was successful. Okay. We're in good shape. We got the bonus. Uh, do we have to I do we have to do a re-entry phase? I think we must. Oh no, I guess not. I guess that was all there. There was a special, you know, thermal thing that they do sometimes. That's a fancy alternate mini game. All right, little boats are going out. Hopefully, there aren't any fan boats going out as well. Okay. Operation for Miyamoto. Okay, so we've successfully done our two missions for this turn. Um, I think we should 
get the orbital what, which one was it no rendezvous attempt no oh we don't have that other mission that i was looking at before i guess uh, no the commercial satellite was what i was looking at before right oh they're they're on their way oh shoot it's uh, we're we're late we're late we're late I want to build the vehicle now. Oh well. Anyway. Next. Large launch pad research complete. Now, can we build it somewhere? At least it can be built at the same time, or no? No, insufficient funds, though. Right. Okay. Well... Space Station? Should we be all Soviet about it? We've been so far going with the American style. Which is, uh, you know, land on the moon and then go to outer planets, right? So we should build Voyager. It all leads to crude Mars landing anyway. I don't remember a probe called Vesta, actually. Skylab is sort of fancy, but it also sounds expensive, doesn't it? <laughs> it's big and expensive. Let's go for cheap. Voyager's really cheap, and I bet they haven't calculated things right. But anyway, uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Or we could just go straight Mars landing. That's probably not... Uh, 3.5 tons. I want the cheapest possible thing. And I think this will require a bigger launcher, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go for... Let's say Jupiter flyby. Tier 2 Astronaut Talents, hmm. Water improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad. Uh, but super duper expensive. We don't have that kind of money. I can't do launch preparations. I guess we can build the rocket. Oh no, we've, we have built the vehicle. We've built the rocket already. We just don't have a pad. Uh, so we can't do anything yet with this. Maybe we didn't need to build a VAB? I didn't think about that. It decreases the build time though, so it's beneficial, but... We really only needed to build- we had to research the VAB, but we needed to build the large launch pad. Jupiter flyby research complete. Okay. We've unlocked the outer planets. We've reached era 3. Race to Mars begins. Wait! Why don't we just race to the outer planets? We seem to have an advantage here. <laughs> okay. Uh, missions. Well, we might as well uh, study Voyager, huh? Mars expertise. There's a whole Mars expertise thing that we get by... Well... Yeah. I guess we would have gotten more Mars expertise by doing the Mars lander, huh? I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, anyway, we seem to get Mars expertise from practically everything, so we'll be fine. Mars readiness review. Hmm. Engine and habitat. Lander. Oh, we might need uh, advanced lander. Chance of mission success abysmal. Yeah. They've got 2%. Hey, at least we did a Mars orbit mission. Shouldn't that count? Gosh darn it. The Soviets are ahead of us. How did this happen? A uh, recent image taken du during your Mars orbit mission, see? Anyway, uh, has captured the public's imagination due to its uncanny resemblance to a uh, human face. Is it an uncanny valley? <laughs> anyway, uh, your scientists have explained that it's simply an optical illusion due to the shadows falling on a Martian hill, yet more eccentric sections of the media have claimed it to be clear evidence of an ancient civilization. Uh, your researchers are keen to dismiss such stories, but your PR team have noted the potential for increasing support for space exploration. Um, doesn't make clear. Uh, we all sticks to science-y. Yeah. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be proper about it. And boring. Okay, so... We've got decreased upper stage build costs, increased upper stage build time. Okay, well, you know, actually I would like a reduced build cost because we seem to have a lot of costs coming up for us. But, here we go. Upper stage. We need 3.6 tons, so it's either Delta K. 
or the center. Well, um, I think we'll stick to Delta K. Thank you. Uh, so that's fine. The booster. Well, Delta. Delta Delta K is looking really big on on it. We need seven tons, so we need two boosters. That's not how Delta K normally fits on the Thor slash Delta stage. It's interesting. Okay, but high launch reliability. Nothing else is really gonna fit here. I mean, the Titan could, but Titan is more expensive, and we did want to reduce the cost. So, yep. All right, select. It's an expensive vehicle for this comsat. But I guess I wanted it to be faster because we're not, well, we're not going to beat the, oh, sorry. No, uh, we are not going to beat the Soviets to that one anyway. Oh, sorry, Chinese. That was Chinese. Yep, the Chinese going to beat us to that. We'll still get number two. Okay, we need to build the large launch pad now. Build. Uh, well, we have just enough space there, but not enough money because we have to clear stuff. Can we just replace stuff? I think there's a clear space here. Maybe if we move this. Uh, it'll probably still be bad. Okay. Build. Yeah. Maybe better off just building it over here for 2.4. Can I undo that build, uh, that move? I feel like that was not a good move. All right, that was a bad thing, but we'll have to wait until we have 2.4 million in order to build the launch launch pad over there, just to clear the obstructions. We are late on going to the moon. New request mission available for the moon. Let's see. Moon micro meteorites. Well, it gets us a Mars experience point. So. Yeah, but do we want to spend money on that? Not until we're done with the commsat, I think. The commsat is important for our money. We're getting very delayed here. Okay, well, now we'll be able to do the construction of a large launch pad, but let's launch this first and really nail the money. Well, not finish it, we have to... We've got pretty high reliability, so we'll just go with funds training. All right, let's build the large launch pad. Okay, so we have started construction on that. We are launching our commercial satellite. Adequate conditions. Well, can't get too much better anyway. Okay, up it goes. Whoa, hey, we had battery damage. Minus one power for duration of mission. Gosh darn it. No, that's just dumb luck right there. Look at how much power we can get. <laughs> Collect 10, 10 navigation. Well, we only have three turns. Let's just really focus on the navigation stuff. We get four out of one power and one calm. Hmm. Is that, I mean, that'll save us with, uh, well, we have to use power to get comms in the first place, but I think it's more efficient overall to do this. And then this. And let's recharge a bit. And do more of that. Okay. Let's use that method. Okay, that's successful. At least we only have one objective, so it's not that hard. It's not like trying to balance multiple requirements here. So, we'll just do the same deal. Uh, more power, or that, and I want two of those. 
but then it leaves us without any power. So you know what? Let's um, cancel that, get extra power. It is the downside to having that power problem initially. Okay. Ah, uh, well, we'll resist. Last turn. So now... We don't... I don't think we have enough power to really do it. Yeah. We don't have enough power. So, we'll get it done, but we won't get the bonus is all. Never know when you could get a green zone one and get bonus points, though. Okay, that uh, task is complete. We have another task. Deploy satellite systems. Sure looked deployed already to me, but okay. That's a new thing, though. Um, there's a deploy, but it doesn't seem to have, oh, over here. It's okay between minus one and plus one. Drift must meet the above conditions to complete task, but I don't know. They could probably gotta pop some drift on to us. Uh, well, I mean, this one has some drift here, this one has some drift there. Okay. It's all gotten complicated. <laughs> it, it all requires drift. Okay, we'll get some drift here, get some undrift there, some extra power. Okay, let's try that. Now I'll keep it to zero at the end if it all works out. Okay, that one worked. Okay, visual spectrum sampling. That one did not work. Resist. Okay, we got six of those. We can now use, we still, nothing saves us from drift, as it were. We can only spend these nav points to get more data points. Um, no, actually we can use combination of data and nav to get comms, so okay, maybe. Okay, I think that keeps us balanced. Okay, ground control connection works. Data transmission does not. He will of course resist. Visual spectrum sampling works. Okay, last turn we need two more of the data. Well, power can get us data like that. But then we need to undrift. We'll be drifting that way is too much. We don't have a way to drift back this way unless we get power and then do that. But everything has to work then. Okay, well, it took it anyway. We're done. <laughs> it didn't require any other fancy business. Okay, we got the 50% bonus. We got lots of money. Didn't help with Mars preparations, apparently. Why we had 0% Mars readiness? Uh, darn it. Okay, we've got tons of money now. We got two slots. Well, uh, can we plan it while we're building? Everybody's available. We have to put everybody on, which is harrowing. Uh, let's focus on reliability. Mm hmm. But uh, yeah, we can't prepare it yet. So, the moon thing moon micrometeorites. Well, we get Mars readiness, so let's plan it. Why not? E10. Payload rating 2 stars. But, yeah, it's good reliability, so why not? Okay. We did not do Mars flyby, apparently. We did do Mars orbit. Yeah, I guess we should do a Mars flyby, but I don't know. <laughs> Might as well, it gives us more readiness. Saki Gake. Okay, next month. So, Moon Micrometeorite, we only need something that can launch 200 kilograms. Which tempts me to use 
able, I guess. Very reliable able is. Okay. And then we could use the Mu, or we could use a Delta. It's not too bad to just go Delta and make it more reliable, I think. It's overshooting by quite a lot. How's Al Gol anyway? Oh, it's actually very reliable. Okay, no, then we can just go with that. Yeah, and it satisfies all the requirements, sure. Nice, cheap, and easy. Large launch pad is gonna take nine months. Yeah, I know, we were pondering that. Okay, Mars flyby mission payload is complete. Upper stage. That doesn't seem great. Centaur C. Okay, Delta K is more reliable. Maybe if we work on the... Because Delta K is level 5. If we try out Centaur C, maybe it'll become more reliable eventually. It's just a perfect fit. This is overshooting by a lot. Wow. Well, Delta 3 fans love this, I guess. Hmm. But I think this is probably a better deal. This is not that much more expensive. It'll take a little bit more time, but... Yeah, much more reliable. So, yeah, unfortunately we're not going with this monstrosity. We're going with that one. Okay, Unmei, which is fate. Fortune. Okay, moon micrometeorite planning time. Well, we've got tons of reliability. Let's get some science. And let's launch as quickly as possible. Okay, launch mission. It's rainy. Terrible conditions. Uh, let's reschedule then. We're not in a rush here. We have made no progress whatsoever in the past year. It's not good. Reduced payload reliability, increased science mission training bonus for the Mars flyby mission. Well, seems... Okay, there's the moon micrometeorites, though. It switched me back to the moon micrometeorites. Okay, good conditions. Well, go. I skipped the countdown. Sorry about that. Okay, very good. And everything's okay. And there's Drift again, Translunar Injection. Okay, well, we need uh, Nav and Data. Okay, well, we'll do this one, which makes us drift one way. And we'll... There's a limited opportunity to drift the other way. I mean, it's rough. Okay, well, we'll try this. It's complicated, though. Ah, controlled burn. Messed up. Now resist. Another failure? Gosh darn it. Can't you see all the blue area? All right. So we've got the required data. We'll get some charge first. We need two of those nav points. We're in the green as far as the drift is concerned. We could just quickly get two nav points.
Oh, we could do this one and really drift out of whack. The only thing that'll pull us back, though, is this one. Which gives us data transmission, which I don't need more of. So, uh, no, uh, sorry, comms. Um, yeah, uh, I don't like this game. <laughs> this, this aspect right now. Okay, barely got that done. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we've got the requirements. Okay, now to manage our drifting. We can drift this way and then drift back, but this is, t I mean, it gives us gums which I don't want. Hmm. We can do this. To get more data and more power. But then we'll be drifted out. Ah, uh, well, we'll give it a go. That one's nice. Okay, last turn. Alright, we have to drift back. That's a requirement. Then we need at least one nav. Ah, whatever. We'll just go through the requirements. I don't see a way to get it all nice. Yeah, we'll just do that. Translator injection is hard, darn it. We'll resist. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Yeah, I didn't need that. Let's get that back to proper. We don't have any chance to resist now, though, but we don't have to. Okay. Off it goes. And then we have to make orbit, don't we? Yep. And we still have the drifty thing. No, yeah. No, okay, let's drift this way a bit. Let's do two drifty that way, one drifty that way. That'll get us back to normal. Okay. Yep. And that was extra good. Okay. Um, fine. Let's get some more power. We don't really need those points. That gives us a lot, though. So if we do one drifty that way and then one drifty that way, it'll be okay. Yep, extra good. All right. We got lucky this time. Okay, so we need four data points. Well, we can just do charge uh, conversion twice, and that'll do it if it works both times. Okay, that one worked. Oh, that one did not. Well, we'll just have to accept that. We don't have the power there. We'll try again on the next turn. This time we should be able to nail it. Resist. And there we go. Actually, we probably didn't even need to resist since we'd probably get it at one point anyway. Okay, we got bonus rewards. More experience. I didn't say 2% experience. Whatever. That's uh, the bookkeeping on Mars readiness. I, I question. Large launch pad is still three months away. But I think uh, we need to wrap up here. Hmm. Let me see. We can do the Mars fly by launch quickly. Ooh, it's a bad time for launching. <laughs> well, we better get it done sooner rather than later, then, huh? Okay, suboptimal date. We'll give it a go, though. 
65% reliability, 59% because of adequate conditions. Well, we'll try it. I was worried about that view for a sec there. Okay, what's the result? Okay, safe. And the level up for the centaur, which it desperately needed. There are better centaurs, but... Okay, enter Mars Transfer Orbit. Well, at least we don't have any wobbliness to pay attention to. We have thrust, that's important. And we need comms to get thrust. That's the only way we get thrust. So, let's just do that. Comms. Oh. No, well, comms is... Oh, there's a decaying thing. Oh no! Okay, resist. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. Okay, we lost one. And then we want more. More. I'll focus on... No, we, we do need the nav. We need more nav. How do we get nav? Power. Maybe we'll pass on the... comms for a sec here. Get power. Get nav. Okay. Successful control burn and payload alignment. Okay. Power is a real serious thing here. Maybe it would have been better to grab some data units and exchange them. Let's see, we can throw one nav unit out and get two data units and one com, and then we can use those two data units to get three nav. So complicated. And we are getting extra power. Probably not managing this perfectly here. But anyway, those were successful. Okay, we lost a little bit of thrust, but we've got the two palms so we can get extra thrust, but not enough. And we're not gonna get enough nav. I mean, yeah. That's too much thrust, darn it. <laughs> and not enough nav. Don't have enough data. Eh, we should have exchanged in a different way. Oh, that was a fail. Well, we have to resist that. And that was fine. Yep, not enough of navigation. So we burned too much and didn't navigate right. <laughs> That's not good. All right, we'll have to wait until we get to Mars. I think they've mixed up, you know what? They've mixed up the total and the experience. I think they meant to add, say that we've got one extra percent exper experience from this mission. And then this 3% should be the total. I think it's reversed. I'm not sure though. But then it says 1% over here. So I don't understand anything. Okay. So with that complete lack of understanding, as we are getting the Voyager mission understood, we're researching that, and our large launch pad will be ready in two months. So hopefully next time we'll be doing a crewed moon mission. 
I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.